Bridget, the schedule was busy. My head in a hoodie, my shorty a hoodie. My cousins are crazy, my cousins like boogie. Life is amazing, it is what it should be. You act like you need remind. Trying to do it over, bring it back and wind it. But all that glitters isn't gold, I was blind. Should've never give you my heart on consignment. And I can't believe the lies that I went for. Thought you was mine, but you decided to be with him. You took my feelings and just threw them out the window. Feel like it's too hard to fall in love again, though. On some nights like this, shawty, I can't ever think of us. I've been reminiscing, sipping, missing you. Can you tell me what's with all this distant love? If I call, would you pick it up? On some nights like this, I just wanna text you, girl, for what? You won't say you want me, then go switch it up. Just gon' play with my emotions just because, no. All them times I played the fool for you. Hey Cocos, welcome back to my channel. My name is Anaya Chanel. If you've never seen my face before, welcome to my channel. I create fashion, lifestyle, and college-related content. As y'all can see by the title, we are starting a new little series on the channel. So if you're new, make sure you go ahead and subscribe and join the Coco Chanel family. We're Cocos over here. I'm Chanel. Y'all are Cocos. Coco Chanel, we just go together, you know what I mean? Cute, right? So anyways, this is going to be a new series on my channel called Solo Diaries. One of you guys suggested this in my video like suggestion box that I put up on Instagram. So here we are. This will be new. I hope you guys enjoy this. And my goal from this Solo Diaries is just to teach you all and show you all that you don't need other people to have a good time. Like literally, so your own company is more important than the company of others because at the end of the day, if everybody left you because they're fake or whatever, you're the only one that matters. Like you need to know how to be by yourself and have fun by yourself. So as a Leo and as this outgoing ass person that I am, and as an only child, I've been an only child for a long time, even though I have a half brother, but he doesn't live with me. I'm the only, only child on my mom's side, so. I'm used to being by myself and I love being by myself because I'm funny like <laughs> I'm having a good time with myself like we just be kiki -ki -ki. So I really wanted to start this series today for a reason number one I've been in a little bit of a funk and I feel like when you're in a funk or just like one of those moods where it's just like you're kind of feeling down you're feeling sad the only person who can really get you out of like a funk or like a bad mood is yourself so it was just perfect so solo diaries how i get out of a funk is going to be the first episode of this little series i'm gonna do everything that i like to do to get myself like out of a bad mood today we're gonna go shopping we're gonna do a little paint and sip you know just vibe out to some music in the car on the way to the mall because i really just we want to have a good day relax i'm on winter break no school no work so we're doing great and i want y'all to do the same exact thing so if you've been in a funk or you're just kind of not feeling yourself hopefully this video inspires you to get yourself up get out of the bed go on a walk go shopping do whatever it is that makes you happy and you know that christmas money just came into the account because i really didn't need to go shopping but they they, they helped me out they helped me out so i'm gonna go shopping <laughs> I need to pick out my perfume scents of the day, which leads me to today's sponsor. You already know It's dossier my favorite So if you are new and you have not heard of dossier I'm gonna put you on because I feel like everyone needs to try dossier and hear about it because this is a such a good essential if you're a girl So dossier is literally just a perfume company that recreates these luxury scents at a fraction of the cost so you guys may have heard of all these expensive perfumes like YSL Libre, Gucci Flora, you know the big big brands like Chanel, YSL, Gucci, you know all these expensive perfumes that are like a hundred dollars at least a bottle you know what I mean? Dossier recreates that same exact scent but for like 20 30 40 dollars so i've been using dossier for over a year now and i actually ended up giving away a few of their fragrances for my 10k giveaway that i did on youtube simply because i wanted y'all to try them out because literally that's how worth it i think their company is i love a lot of their scents so the one that i have today to show y'all is floral violet this is actually a dupe for the mark jacobs daisy perfume y'all know i love a good floral like i love floral perfumes and i think this is a perfect balance of like floral and like an everyday scent if you don't like like floral scents then i may not recommend this because obviously it's like straight floral um but if you like floral not grandma scent this is literally perfect and right up my alley so this is the scent that i 
chose for today if you are interested in trying out dossier but you're kind of like mm, it's a perfume company i don't want to order from online i would definitely recommend you still do so dossier has a risk-free system so if you order a few perfumes and you don't end up liking one or two you can send it back within the 30 days and get a full refund or if you want to exchange it and have them send you a different perfume that you think you may like better you can do that too so i'll put my discount code on the screen and i'll also put the link for the website in the description box for y'all to shop okay before i head out and go to my car i want to show you my outfit of the day even though y'all kind of already saw it but y'all need to know where the stuff is from because it's cute so my beanie is from label jw my purse is from urban outfitters it's so cute look at the like belted detailing and it's jean it's just like this is my favorite bag now okay y'all already know my jumpsuit is from pretty little thing i wear this one all the time it's such a good essential and it gives body every time so like i'm gonna keep wearing it and then i have on my um new balance 2002 r protection pack ones i cannot remember the name is so long like i just feel like i'll link them down below how about that and then my socks are from target so yeah that's the little fit i feel like it's cute so yeah let's go as y'all can see i'm in my car it is currently 12 23 and i literally had such a big plan i was like oh i'm gonna wake up at like 10 o'clock so i can be out of my room by 11. clearly that didn't happen i'm gonna get upbeat which is a acai bowl place i've been there before and i showed y'all it's so cute in there and so i might sit in there and just eat for a little while um, I want to get either a smoothie or a acai bowl. I'm not really like super hungry, so I might just get a smoothie. That way I can drink it on the way to the mall and drink it while I'm in the mall. We're listening to SZA because SZA is back, girl. In SZA we trust, okay? In SZA we trust. All right, y'all, I made it to Upbeat. I'm gonna go in. I think I'm gonna get a smoothie. I don't feel like eating a whole acai bowl right now, so. got my smoothie i would have loved to have sat in there and ate my acai bowl but like i said i really feel like i want to get a move on and i'm not even that hungry for me to get acai bowl i would not eat it all but we got the smoothie i haven't tried it yet so let's see if it's good yeah it's basically like a strawberry banana smoothie that's overpriced as fuck <laughs> but it's good okay we're about to go to perimeter mall now that's the mall that's like my favorite mall zara first because uh hello that stuff's on sale oh man maybe this wasn't a good day to come this is cute i don't think it's on sale though oh, it is this is not cute as fuck hold on it's such a mess in here low-key but that's sale days for you. I'm in the dressing room now. I'm about to try on these that I got picked up. Um, so I picked up this because I needed a top to try on all these bottoms with. Like literally the only thing I picked up was bottoms. But I actually might end up getting this. It's only $10 and I need a like basic white crop top that's like really, really soft and comfortable. So we might end up getting that period. But I found this super cute little patterned skirt. I don't know what it is that's drawing me to this because it's definitely giving kind of like business. But... I feel like this could be cute for like a classy dinner or something. It's an extra small, but it low key looks kind of big, so we'll see when I try it on. But I like that it's long, and I feel like this could just be cute for like a girl's night out. So we'll try that. I picked up these super nice cargo sweatpants. They're gray and they have cuff at the bottom. They're size small and they're on sale. I didn't know that Zara was having their sale today, so. The place is like literally a mess. I think I said that when I walked in. But I like that these have like that drawstring type of vibe so you can tighten the waist if they're too loose. And then I saw these super nice medium wash or dark wash cargo pants, cargo jeans. Either way, I picked up two different sizes because I don't know which size will fit me or if they'll fit me at all. So we're just gonna see. If not, it's fine. I just thought they were cute and I was like, these ones fire. So 
let's get to trying these things on okay here's the skirt it is literally too small because I can't get my booty in it and I'm a little thick I done told y'all now y'all might not believe me but I'm thick no but I really cannot get that shit on it's tight it fits like cool it fits I fit but if I tried to sit it would rip apart in pieces. I'm so sad though, because I actually really like this skirt. If I can find it in a size small, I'll get it, but I don't think I will because I didn't see any over there. Not this top, of course, when I style it, but like dressed up for like girls night out or dinner or something would be so fire, I'm so sad. Okay, these sweatpants aren't bad, but I don't like them. I'm not getting these. These, I don't know, they're just not like flattering. I don't know. But mm, they're cute just not on me these are the pants they look so good on the front like they fit fine looking from the front their length perfect as soon as i turn to the side what is this all this room back here and then to top it off pancake booty that is not how my ass looks okay so to review i will get this top if i find something else that i can like obviously purchase but if not i feel like standing in line for like 20 minutes is not worth me buying this one little basic white crop top everything else literally i don't like how it looks or it doesn't fit these are all extra small so that means i can't get the skirt i am back in the car um i like shopping that was fun don't mind me but i did not buy anything because i didn't see anything i liked so that was just kind of not as fun like the fun part of shopping is finding stuff that you like Nothing I found that I liked was my size, so we have nothing. It's fine. We're gonna go to Target and Five and Below before I go back down to like where I live. I came to Five and Below. I see it, y'all. I see some canvases up there. Okay, y'all, I'm at Target now. I honestly got like really discouraged about this video like maybe 10 20 minutes ago because I feel like I just went to a different mall I went to Linux and I told you I didn't even want to go to Linux in the first place but I really wanted to kind of do a little bit of shopping today in perimeter I didn't find anything I didn't find anything in Linux either so then I was just frustrated because it's just like not only have I wasted literally half my day looking for not jack shit literally but i'm wasting energy too because now i'm tired and i have yet to do anything for real so i don't know i just get discouraged and this is another reason why i wanted to do the solo diaries and talk to y'all just today about like how i get out of a funk because obviously every day is not going to go how you want it to or every day is not going to be like you know a great day like you're not going to get everything you want but it's still just you just got to push through do what you want to do try your best when some shit happens and it's bad you know i literally learned this quote in church she said you just gotta laugh in the devil's face so we're gonna laugh in the devil's face because i didn't need anything for them all i'm gonna go in target now and hopefully this will uplift my spirit a little bit because as y'all can see my energy is down because that just kind of like unmotivated me and this is another reason i just keep saying this but like this is another reason why i wanted to share with y'all because a lot of y'all asked me for like motivation on how to upload videos how to upload youtube videos like y'all fall out of motivation so do i like i could be in the middle of filming a video and just be like damn this video is not going to come out good it's not going to be up to par let me stop filming or also just me trying to like better myself and like learn to keep going even in the midst of like chaos and in the midst of like my doubtful doubtful doubtfulness i glitched there sorry i'm trying to do better about like showing y'all more behind the scenes obviously y'all know my personality very bubbly friendly and you're always so happy and positive but of course i have my days where i'd be like <sighs> exhausted so this is one of those days i'm just trying to pick myself up a little bit okay they have a lot of paint and then let me think i don't even know what i'm painting that's the only other bad thing like if i knew what i was painting i could just choose colors like that but i don't really know what i want to paint so that's cute Easy painting ideas. I decided I'm gonna try to do Kermit. I think he's so cute and it looks like a Valentine's Day type of thing. So I got a green and then the pink and then of course I'm just gonna get that regular set. 
so just in case but yeah that's what we're gonna go with i feel like it'll be somewhat easy not too easy but like just enough to where i'm like it's cute you know <laughs> i haven't painted in forever so i'm kind of nervous my skills might have went away i've been seeing a lot about this on tiktok so i think i'm gonna try it let's just get it i'm not gonna look too much at the price because i've heard it works really well so we're just gonna get it okay y'all so here is the robe that i've been thinking about getting it's a long robe and i literally just bought a robe from here like maybe two months ago but it's not long and also the sleeves are like cuffed and i don't like that so i think i might get this one i've had my eye on it for a while like this is the one that i have and I don't really like that one anymore, to be honest. I shouldn't have bought it to begin with, to be completely transparent. Okay, so I think I might actually get this one. We're gonna take it off the hanger, put it in the basket. These look interesting, so I'm gonna try one because why not? There's different types. I think I want hydrating, ultra hydrating, rather than the exfoliating. done with Tarje. you see where we're at i actually have not been to barnes and noble in so long so let's hope they have what i need took my feelings and just threw them out the window feel like it's too hard to fall in love again no on some nights like this shawty i can't help but think of us i've been reminiscing sipping this year can you tell me what's with all this distant love if i call would you pick it up Alright y'all, it is currently 8.46 now. I've been home for like maybe almost an hour i took a shower put on my pjs these are from target and i'm probably gonna end up putting like a sweatshirt i don't care about over this just so while i'm painting i don't mess up these but yeah i'm about to paint so let me go ahead and get my stuff and show y'all what i got from target even though y'all saw but i'm gonna show y'all again just in case you didn't you know catch it the first time well i'm gonna really show y'all everything that i got so Barnes & Noble, this is the book that I wanted, You're a Badass at Making Money by Jen Sincero. I have her book that You Are a Badass and it's just the yellow one, but not about making money, just a badass period at like life. That one is really good. I bought that one in like quarantine in like 2020, maybe even 2019. It took me forever to read it just because I'm not like big on reading to be honest, but I want to get more into reading in 2023 just for the sake of like not waking up and going immediately on my phone and then also the same thing when I go to bed. So I have that book and then I also have been recently picking back up on this book because um, I picked this up over the summer but I never really read it for a while. I read the first chapter and then put like that shit away. But it's a really good book. I like the way she wrote it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try to read these two within 2023. That's really like the simplest goal ever, but it's probably going to be harder than I think. I got obviously the canvases and then the brushes. And then really the only other thing I'm showing y'all is the paint colors that I picked up. So I got this little pack of like multicolored acrylic paint set this is like taking me back to like kindergarten when we have these tiny little paint things yeah literally giving kindergarten but this is perfect because obviously some of these colors i may not end up using a lot of but like i needed white and then maybe some black and then they have like all the other colors as well so it just kind of works out well and then i got a big green and then i think i'm gonna do this foot mask that i picked up as well while i sit here on the floor it's supposed to be ultra hydrating there was one that was like for exfoliating but i've been getting pedicures so i don't think i need exfoliating right now so we're gonna just set it up like this and then do my stuff on here okay so i got this candle from the streetwear market that i went to last month and this shit smells so good period 
Okay, we getting the vibes going, we getting the vibes going. Finally got everything together. So I got like a little cup of water for my paint stuff to go in. And then I have all my brushes out. These smell good, okay. These are kind of big, but at the same time, I have big feet, but not that big of feet. Look, look, y'all. Can you see? <laughs> I'm gonna put these on. They have like little straps and all. Like you really finna be locked into these. How you open it? Hold on. Is there an opening on the top or not? Nah? Damn. I mean, maybe I should read the instructions. To open, pull apart the seam along the top of the booties. Okay. <laughs> not along the booties. Okay, there we go. I think. I think that's how you do it, yeah. And now you put your little foot in there. Okay, it's kind of cold, I'm not gonna lie. Is there like a sticker or something? It is, period. Okay, per the lemon pepper steppers. Now I got booties. Yay! Now that my feet are in their little foot mask. I recommend already. I'm like loving my feet in these booties. They're so cute. Here is what Kermit the Frog is looking like. I just outlined him. He looks a little rough, but it's okay. We're gonna get him right. So I've been like in and out of like a funk for the past few days, like I was telling y'all a little bit earlier, mostly because I'm, I'm an extrovert and I like being around my friends. So when it's winter break, I always feel a little bit lonely. And that's just because everyone's at home usually. And I usually come back to the dorm like right after Christmas. So I'm usually by myself for like two weeks before school actually starts back and all my friends come back. I feel like I've been going through, I don't want to say the full content creator like dilemma of like being stumped and not knowing what to post. But more so I always wait for like the school year to start back because I feel like that's when I'm in my best like grind and my best like motivational period you know what I mean because I'm I know how to like juggle everything like school work social life YouTube all that so it was just me not really having any video ideas to make over break which is why y'all probably haven't seen a video for like at least a week I feel like a lot of times over like winter break I just get like stumped summer break is a little bit better because I feel like summertime like you're on you're going on vacation i'm usually like doing an internship or a job or something like that like i always have content in the summer but something something about winter break i can't get down with i don't know what it is i don't even like winter break i don't like winter period okay we're on the floor with it if you see my little feet kicking in the back mind your business because your girl's happy this is a vibe i'm actually really enjoying i'm so glad i did this Oh, I forgot my sipping part. Duh. But I have this Simply Spiked. I thought that shit was frozen. Okay, so hold on. But I have this Simply Spiked. I'm going to drink on this. It's literally only 5%, so it's not doing much at all. <laughs> but just a little sum. Just a vibe. One thing about painting is going to get messy, okay? Because why is it already paint all over my hand? And I only painted his eyeballs. Like, what the fuck? But yeah, that's really the main reasons why I've been in a funk because of that. And then, I don't know, just kind of figuring out like what's next for life. I'm trying to find an internship for the summer. Y'all know if you're a college student, you know, you kind of got to keep planning your next move. And especially me being a junior, I feel like this is prime time. I need an internship again for this summer. Um, so yeah, and then as well as starting my business, that's been on my mind a lot because I really am already tired of doing like these little random ass jobs. Like these are not jobs that I wanna be doing. Like I really do wanna quit Target already. Like, and I actually like the job, don't get me wrong. I'm just saying like, I'm ready to just do something that actually brings me hella joy and it's like my company, which is why I'm grateful for YouTube because that's like at least something that's mine for real, you know what I mean? And it's a easy job because I always heard like the saying like you know you're rich when you can make money in your sleep and prime example YouTube is one of those jobs that you can make money in your sleep. Granted it does take a lot of hours of editing and stuff like that but I personally think it's worth it. I would still do YouTube even if it wasn't paid because I love making videos like I'd be giggling like giddy as fuck 
when I turn the camera on and it's literally just like okay what is coming over me I don't know but I'm happy and that's all that matters okay we're done with that part now I gotta do the hearts which will be hard kind of no cap because they're so small so i'm almost done with my little painting i just have to paint the background this light pink right here and then we'll be pretty much done i went ahead and started preheating the stove because i'm gonna go ahead and make my steak um but i wanted to talk to y'all for any of you guys who are in a funk or you know you're just feeling down or if you ever do begin to feel down i wanted to give you guys some motivation because i feel much better now i just feel like everyone of course you know you always have your ups and downs so just remember that everything happens for a reason like i say this all the time but it's literally so true like for example today i really was hoping that i would find some stuff at the mall because spending money somehow makes me feel better which is not a good hobby or habit to have but it was good that i didn't end up finding anything at the mall even though i was frustrated in the moment it was good because now i can save that money for something else even if it's spent within the next few days on like an event that i go to or something at least i saved some money somehow some way i wanted to tell y'all this quote that i saw my friend zaria elizabeth post on instagram and it says do it unmotivated which is literally the best advice you just gotta really do that shit if you want something bad enough you're not gonna find excuses for it you're gonna do it regardless and if you don't want it bad enough then you're not gonna do it that's really as simple as it can be put so if you have a dream that you want to accomplish in 2023 and you're like waiting for that day where you feel finally motivated to be like i'm gonna start today don't do that shit please this is actually so relaxing if you haven't painted in a while i definitely recommend you do that shit because i'm just having fun right now granted it is like what time 11 18 that is insane i've been painting for like two hours kid you not i'm about to go cook my food um i'm making steak and potatoes and then some broccoli but I'm not going to show y'all that because I feel like this video is going to be like stupid long and I really didn't want it to be that long. I really hope y'all enjoyed this vloggy. I'm trying to give y'all a little bit of ideas of like things to do to get your mind off anything that may be bothering you or stressing you. It's so important to have a balance and I know sometimes that's hard to do because obviously we're all juggling so many different things. Trying to accomplish goals and stuff like that and get these degrees. But baby, please make time to take care of yourself especially your mental health it's so important i finished my kermit the frog painting period but yes this is the end of the vlog i hope you guys enjoyed if you did make sure to give this video a big thumbs up subscribe and i will see you in my next one bye cocos